I'm going to speak about bare knuckle boxing. Um, bare knuckle boxing is too dangerous for entertainment. Um, so even when you don't even use weapons and you're just using the body and you're fighting how we're meant to fight, you know, which is basically with our bare hands and not even having any protection on there. So forget about the 12 ounce gloves for boxing or the 16 ounce gloves and forget about the, the UFC cage fighting forearms gloves, you know, they think they're such, they're badass because they use forearms gloves. Let's talk about no gloves. Let's talk about just bare knuckles. And they won't even allow that in the um, combat sport industry because it's just too dangerous. So it just goes to show um, how dangerous real combat is. Because if you're just talking about bare knuckle boxing, they won't they they ban that because it's just too dangerous. But if you integrate other things such as um striking techniques that are extremely lethal, you know, such as shots to the throat and the neck and the eyes and you know, shots to the groin area, I mean you're talking about very lethal techniques. Um utilizing your bare hands or your elbows and your knees, um, these are just very lethal that's not allowed in the sporting industry. So the method of it, the science behind it is that clearly the cage fighting is not the most effective method because they already have restrictions you know to make it safer. Yes it is unsafe in that cage but it is much unsafer in reality based combat even if you don't use weapons and that's why they have um, outlawed a lot of these techniques um, and they're making it in a way um, try to make it more of a sport yes it is clearly a still extremely violent but my point being is that bare knuckle boxing is extremely dangerous and that's the real combat training for the streets you know training it in combative techniques that are for survival where you don't um, where you're not governed by sport rule you know sporting regulations for entertainment um, if you're a smaller person and you feel that your life is in great danger you may have to utilize techniques that are extremely lethal to end the confrontation and then you will explain yourself in front of the jury or the judge to explain why you had to take a person's life because you felt that you were in great danger. And more often times than not, you will be justified in doing so if that was the individual that was being the aggressor towards you. So you will be utilizing techniques that are very deadly, that are clearly not allowed in combat sport um, because it becomes too brutal. Um, so essentially, that is the real martial arts training that you will never find in combat sport because it is just simply too lethal and if you talk about any type of um you know training involving weapons in any way shape or form you will not see that in combat sport unless they're unless they're willing to allow there to be death which you will see in something like fencing where they have like all this gear, protective gear to protect themselves and you'll see in kendo they'll, they'll play with the wooden swords with all this gear to protect themselves but you will not see you know two people using real swords with no armor going at it till death this is not gonna happen you know because um, then it's not entertainment anymore then you're talking about real violence and essentially, I see that a real martial arts, a real martial artist trains to protect himself from real violence. He doesn't train for entertainment. Um, that's the way that I see it.